Hi there folks, it's uh, a very hot Saturday afternoon, sun's out, little planes are out, even the moon's out, so it seems everybody's out to play. And today we're just having a look for some hidden bridges on what was the Hulter Barnsley line. So let's take a look and see what we can find. A beautiful day. You can see Drag's power station over there in the distance, and that's where this line now serves. But across there is a level crossing at uh, West Bank. And we're just going to have a look along this section to where it crosses the, uh, the River Air. Let's take a look. Well, I'd say it's definitely the hottest day of the year. I think it did. No doubt we'll be having climate lockdowns next. Look at it here, folks. Oh, look what we can see over there. That looks interesting. Yeah. Can we actually get over there? Take a look. Probably a bit hard to see on camera, folks, but under the railings you can just see like an abutment of a bridge. Uh, there's a dike running along here, and I'm just wondering if they modernised it, but that is original brickwork left there. Can't really see because of the bushes. Do thunderbugs bite? Oh, really? No, I think they just lick them. <laughs> I'm not a shipper. If anybody knows. Yeah. There was obviously some out there, folks, but. A little bit overgrown. Hmm. This one doesn't look overgrown. I think the heat generates off the plant, but that's why it does more floating lower down. It's like being a matter of fact, people. Yeah. On a hot day. So, speaking of hot days, it's July. It's sunny, we've got clear skies. It's kind of like summer as I remember, but hang on, isn't this a thing Greta doesn't like? I mean, we only get three days like this a year, for fuck's sake. How dare you! Well, folks, a little viaduct. How cute. Yeah, well, uh, let's see if we can get a closer look. That does look interesting. There, I looked at it, so I will help. <laughs> Some weird and wonderful plants on this embankment. So, folks, let's take a look at this. Uh, very much so. No. It looks like it's being looked after. Then again, it's an active railway, so I suppose it has to be looked after. This line now uh, takes biomass to Drax Power Station. Well, as I said at the start, it was once part of the Hulter uh, Barnsley Railway. So I'm guessing this must have been made when the uh, the railway had opened, or for the railway opening. So that must put it about 1885. Next up is a river bridge. Let's take a look. Oh uh, yeah. I suppose that's to stop the soil actually getting washed away. I'm assuming this was only used as a for a floodplain. Well if it was built in 1885 and I was built in 1972 I'd put my money on this being in better condition. Yeah that's what I would have held a bit of tracking. 
as per usual, British Rail do kind of throw all sorts on the floor. That's a strange piece of concrete. And here we have the actual working line, folks, and above the bridge. And up there is the uh, the river bridge, which we'll take a look at next. Right, I better get out of here. Yeah, good question there. What are the uh, the round things for on the side of the bridge? Well, I would assume these go right through and actually keep it all pulled together. Let's have a look. Wow, it's warm. I wonder if they've got a, if they are a cover over them, but that's what they look like. Usually it's like a big metal plate and a, a nut. Yeah. How cute. Somebody still well, takes a bit of pride. Yes, yeah, so, the um, they're there as well. Where's the coming It must soak down from above. Oh, oh yeah. I wonder if that, that must come down from above. It must have blocked through. I'm wondering if it's blocked up and that's why it leaks through the brick. Yeah, we need to like put them there. Yeah. Well, folks, that was a little viaduct, and I'm absolutely sweating my what's it off now. So we're going to move along and up to the uh, the river bridge. I think you didn't fall. No, no, I didn't fall over the fence, did I? Well, we're almost uh, <coughs> at the bridge. As you can see, it's getting some love and attention at the moment. And I feel like I'm going to collapse. Here we get out of this wilderness. So we'll come from just over there folks where the little viaduct was. And we're now... This, was this, yeah, this is from the uh, floods. When the river flooded it came over the banks here. And the boss is all this crap. Oh, you're having a laugh. Here we are, folks. I'm guessing this bridge must be dated to the railway, so... I think the railway opened in 1885. It certainly does look old. Yeah. yeah. Seems to have a lot of scaffolding. Then it stops you seeing it, uh, what it looks like. Bit of a shame. Let's see if we can get around here. Well, folks, I managed to morph through the fence. Just want to see what we can see. Obviously getting some uh, help standing up by the looks of this scaffolding. Oh, that's a nice cool breeze. Yeah. That's... Uh, we'll look underneath. A lot of scaffold boards underneath it. Even bigger boards under here. If we can look over there, we'll see some of the original bridge at least. This is a bit dark though. <laughs> well, they probably don't get bothered much. There we have it folks, the bridge over the River Air. I'll try and put some more details in the description, but uh, I do believe it is the original bridge. Quite in the middle.
middle of nowhere to be fair. Nice little forgotten bit of history, still in use today. It would be rude not to, wouldn't it? I mean, there's no safety precautions here, folks. So. Oh wow, now we can really see the bridge. Oh, <laughs> that's a good weld, stroke crack. <laughs> it has had reinforcement work done to it over the years by the looks of it. Yeah. So it's obviously in need of some work. Yeah, there's no date on it. Yeah, you never get this engineering anymore. You really don't. Sorry about the sun and the shadows and things, folks. Now what would be quite cool would be to have a train. Oh. Yeah. I see. So all the bridges there for hooks. I wonder if this is an ability so they can work on it while it's in use. Yeah, this has definitely had more reinforcement added over the years. Nice lattice work. I wouldn't go on that bit really. Mm. Well, I hope not. <laughs> oh, that's the goose. <laughs> How to do it, folks, just for the thumbnail. On the bridge. Yeah, start to give the encouragement. Right, moving on. So this is something you don't see every day, folks. Having a scaffolding just to get a closer look. Definitely a bonus. Yeah, they're obviously doing some maintenance. Um, would be nice to see this bridge from the other side, though. Maybe one for a future video. Oh, little dragonfly. I'm mad. Oh, he's landed. Don't hang about too long. <laughs> Don't roll up, you in resin. So, yeah, some very old British engineering. I'd say it's finest because it's still standing. Definitely won't build in Japan, that's for certain. All we need now would be a train to come. That, that would kind of make it. An hour could be good after. I don't know where the moon's out, folks. Well folks, didn't expect to see the bridge up this close. A beautiful day. And a beautiful old bridge. And look folks.
nice and cool under the bridge. Well, I wasn't planning to. I just wondered if we could see a little bit better. Now the bridge. Yeah. Looking under there, it has had some uh, reinforcements added in later years. The old tower's doing quite well in there, aren't they? I wonder if they're actually made out. See if we can get a better view of this bridge. Well folks, that's it for this little part of the uh, Hull and Barnsley Railway. We're now going to uh, make our way back across the fields and uh, upload this video so thanks for tagging along thanks for liking watching subscribing all that jazz and we'll catch you next time